In today's video I will go solo on an escalation server and we will go from nothing to raiding bases. We will get ourselves a pretty different start than usual but we managed to bounce back. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is Shona and today we're going through another one which is a glitch to Shonka. To win this make sure that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys we're on escalation 5 times loot, I have absolutely nothing, brand new start, there's around like 20 people, actually no there's a bit less. But it's quite early in the morning, I've always seen this server have like 40 plus players, especially when it gets later. So maybe we'll get ourselves a lots of PvP, but today we're going to focus on the usual, we're gonna try to build a base, raid, and obviously PvP. We'll try to get ourselves an online raid, that would be great. I do have a plan that I wanna build next to the dead zone, so that if people are doing it, I could easily counter and get myself quite easy loot but today i do want to get myself some raids play escalation for 24 hours and see what will happen hopefully the base will last more than 24 hours that's the main goal we got ourselves nitro okay so on this server there is a vault as well if we get nitro and all of that kind of stuff anything good anything that we can make adhesive compounds with we will obviously put them in vault obviously i try to make myself an hmt today Maybe we'll even do ourselves a tier 2 dead zone run. Currently in the mall because I want to get myself, yeah, the LDG poster. Today, we, we came straight for it, man. Alright, always glitches through and when that happens, we just have to go downstairs and you can easily find it. There we go, we got ourselves our first gun as well, got ourselves a Centauri. Not really ideal, but better than nothing. Here we got ourselves the poster. We're gonna vault that bad boy. Actually, we could just wear the shirt. Alright, so I'm gonna loot over here. Obviously, I'm gonna try to get myself as much loot as possible and then we'll go over to camp crystal get ourselves a chainsaw and axe and then we will start building a base that is the goal for now all right so i did loot parkwood didn't really get anything that crazy to be honest we're over here at this military area really want to get myself an asset salvaging all of the extra clothes that we don't need so that we can make fabric and gets all of that we're gonna need every single item of that all right there we go we got ourselves finally a knife Getting ourselves a few nitro, that's actually really good. Nitro is very, very good. We just need two for a C4. Alright, we got ourselves a bed. Let's put that in vault. We did get ourselves two gloats in now. So we got a few canteens, which is good. And after this, we'll start going... Oh, there we go, acid. Oh, perfect. Finally, we got ourselves an actually decent gun than a Sensari. Sensari sucks. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves an axe. I mean... It's still fine, would have loved the chainsaw, but it's okay. So now it's base building time. We're gonna build close to here, this is always what I do. It's such a good tactic. Not a lot of people come here, so you don't get raided that easily. People still do come here, but usually they're not super geared. So if you do kill them, you still get some loot, but still nothing that crazy. And if you hear shots at Red Grove Airfield, you can always counter that. Since there's hills all around, you can kill them from a distance. Especially if you have snipers. I'm also noticing a lot of unraided bases, so that's really good. So when we do get raiding gear, which shouldn't really be that hard, we will start doing a raiding spree. I do want to get myself as much raids as possible. If we get online raids, that would be even better. If not, that's okay. We will still raid. But that would be the goal, to, to just do online raids. Because they don't log out with the loot, basically. I think I've got myself enough lock, so now I'm just gonna get myself a pretty decent spot. And we're still building. Alright, got a base down. Small crate and big crate. Now we could empty everything we have in our vault. So that we would have ourselves space just in case we make some crazy play. And we have space in our vault. Alright, lovely. We'll put this book over here so that we'll just have ourselves a bit more space. And now we will start with roaming around the map. Trying to get guns, trying to get loot, trying to get PvP. And hopefully, we will not die. That, that's really the main goal, is not dying. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user-friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just 
just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Uh, someone's raiding HMC. I'm obviously going for that, man. If I die, I die. Just lose an asset and some clothes. But if I manage to get myself an HMT this early, that would be honestly huge. It sounds very, very close as well. I just gotta make sure it's the correct base that I'm going to. Server's starting to pop off as well. A lot of more people are starting to join. And there's somebody shooting as well. I think that's over at, at Log Dynamics. Oh wait, it's this base. Wait, there's there's lockers outside. I gotta get close. I really hope he doesn't see me, man. If I get good stuff, I'm just gonna vault it instantly. I should have some space in there. There's an airdrop grenade on the floor. Bro, obviously I'm gonna try to kill him first. Yeah, he's clueless. Oh, oh my god, I got him. Oh my god, bro, he does have the HMT. No, I can't use vault. Oh no, dude, I have to just take the loot. Bro, there's so much! Why is there so much? Look at... Wait, what? Bro, how is he back? Oh my god, bro. There's no way I lost all of that loot. I'm going back, obviously. Oh my god, if I had Vault, I have the ability to put in Vault, I would have taken all of that loot in there. But it's blocked during combat. You're kind of close, we just have to go over there. I'm gonna go back, obviously. I do have an asset in my vault. Let's take the mag. Bro, he came back so... Is he... Is that it? Is he raiding his own base or something? He came back literally in like five seconds. Oh, that sucks, man. We're going back though, obviously. If I just get some of the loot on the floor, even the airdrop grenade, I would be happy. Because we can get some good stuff from it, you know? Bro, he's not even here, man. And there's a lot of loot on the floor. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm opening the vault. I'm putting all of this HMG ammo. Adhesive compounds. Bro, there's so much. Alright, we're gonna have to ditch that, obviously. Taking the metal wall. I need to find myself a backpack so that I can take all of this loot. I'm gonna get that airdrop grenade, so... Alright, let's just put that in there. Alright, so I'm back with another empty vault. Did manage to vault. A few more guns. Some of the stuff did despawn. We'll take that backpack, I guess. Honestly, I'm really happy with the loot we got. We could have gotten way more. If I didn't home last time. But we did get that airdrop grenade, which I'm really happy. We did get ourselves a bunch of HMG ammo. There's a loot over here, another asset. Could have been worse, but honestly, I'm not too disappointed. We did get ourselves a bunch of high-tech fuses as well. Oh, that's how he came back so quickly. This is probably his bed. Yeah, it's destroyed. I'm trying to see if he's somewhere around. Maybe he's gonna come back to continue raid the base. He didn't fully raid that base. Alright, so from that, basically, we got a few guns. Airdrop grenade, a bunch of high cal, high tech fuses, sabot slug. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's all free loot. We didn't lose anything from it. Would have loved to get the, the actual raiding gun too, but it's whatever at this point. Really wish he didn't have a bad man. I would have gotten way more loot, but it is what it is. Other shots going on here. There's literally people right here. There's people PvPing. Yeah, there we go. He killed them. There we go. And I, I got the loot from both teams. I mean, from both players. Right, we got ourselves a bunch of guns, a bunch of ammo. We got ourselves a government. Yeah, this dude. Nitro, I'll take that. Alright, not too bad. Finally, we got, got a kill on somebody. And we didn't die two seconds later. Wait, what, bro? There's a dude right here. Oh, he fell. How is he not dead? I'm getting shot at by somebody else as well. No way. Right. Oh, wait. What? There's loot up here as well. We'll salvage the clothes. Uh, I did not expect people to actually be up here. Mike, I had a CSO as well. He was just up here sniping, camping probably. I gotta find him. I'm gonna try to jump on him. But I think he ran away. He switched to Tonto as well. Kind of funny. Oh, there's people breaking glass. There's still... Seems like there's a lot of people around here. Oh, I see him. He's literally right under me. I'm jumping on him. There we go, he's dead. Is this the CSO dude? Well, I don't know. He has Tantos, but he has three of them. He has a compact. All right, let's med up. Let's take the compact, obviously. Let's switch the backpack. Riot helmet. All right, not too bad. Still free load, I guess. There's a bunch of shots going on here. But I see that sounded kind of close. Oh, there's a dude right here. 
There we go, he's dead. No, he had nothing. Got ourselves our ammo back at least. Oh, there's a dude in here. There we go, yeah, he's dead. Oh, he had a jackhammer. Yo, I'll take circuit boards too. I'll take those. That's actually really nice. I needed a jackhammer. Kinda wish there was a chainsaw actually. So I can chop down trees. In peace. Without having to worry. We could do it much, much quicker. Oh, there's a, there's so much loot on the floor here. Somebody took out a billion zombies. But it's just, yeah, it's nothing too good. Oh, wait, what? Well, there's a dude here. Bro, I saw his gun glitch. Oh, yeah, he had a... Yeah, nothing too good. Getting chased by a billion zombies. Wait, what? Wait, he's coming back. Yeah, it's the same guy. Wait, he lives close. My guy had a throwing knife. Wait, did he think he's gonna kill me with a throwing knife? Yeah, this one by one wasn't here. We just found ourselves alive one by one. This dude owns this. All right, well, we got ourselves a target to raid. This is literally right next to our base. We can't be having neighbors, man. Definitely not. Because they could raid us very easily as well. And we're both living in one by ones. Alright, since now I know that neighbors are living close, I'm gonna focus on upgrading base and just doing an airlock. And making myself some more storage. Because I can't accidentally leave the door open when I'm going out or I'm getting door camped. And they just go in and I lose everything in a second. So I need to, I need to expand. Alright, it's time to throw the airdrop. Let's see what we got. From that kind of counter raid, that vault counter raid. I really hope we got something good, man. If we get filters or charges, I'm happy. I consider that as huge profit. Because we technically got raiding gear from an airdrop grenade that we just found on the floor of a dude raiding a base. And it glitched through, so he was he didn't see it. And he left it there. Kinda worried that people are gonna try to counter this airdrop as well, so we gotta be careful. As soon as it lands, we take everything and we dip. We run away. There's a bunch of people on the server now, man. Alright, it landed. Oh, that's good. Charge, a bunch of guns knocked. LTLM, Hermes, and a bunch of grenades for it. Nitro. And we got the black ECS, too. Not bad. Definitely, I'm really happy with it. 100%. That was actually a really good airdrop. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta make myself a small box. Because this large crate is already full. Alright, I put this bad boy right over here. Now, obviously, my next step is to make myself a gas mask. We do have everything to make it, obviously. I think I just need to get myself, like, the basics, like, plastic. Because I have not really gotten any plastic this whole time. So, I'll probably go do myself a, a quick loot run around the map really quickly. And maybe we'll get ourselves everything we need for one. We got enough guns for a solo, to be honest. I don't think we really need more guns. Obviously, I will take if I do get myself some good ones. But we do have everything. Yeah, we, we, we got everything. We got adhesive. We got canteens, duct tape, fabric. I think we just need literally plastic. Because I don't have plastic anywhere. We could just salvage a canteen though. But yeah, I'm going to check to see if I have everything. Let's take the glue. We got the fabric. We got ourselves duct tape. Yeah, we just need plastic. Now let's restack that fabric that we had. Let's salvage this as well. Get ourselves more fabric. Now we need uh, plastic. I don't see any anywhere. We could salvage electronics to be honest. And get ourselves plastic, but electronics are also pretty useful, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, we could salvage the gas can. There we go, we got plastic. And we got ourselves the filter, so we just need some more plastic and some more fabric. And for that, I need to actually go find them. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Alright, not too bad. Really happy with it, though. Alright, back from Iran. Got myself 3D printer, a bunch of plastic as well. Got myself a car battery, which that's easy chemicals. We got ourselves the gas mask ready as well, so... It is dead zone time. Our first dead zone run, let's go. We get ourselves the important stuff, HMG parts, Valkyrie. If we get ourselves airdrop grenades, that would be great. If we get high kill, that would be great. So that we can make the HMT. We already have like 400 shots here for the HMT that we got from the counter. We get ourselves a charge as well. We'll put this gun over here. And let's go do an insane dead zone run. Hopefully nobody counters me. That's really the only thing I'm scared of. Alright, here we go. So first we gotta lure the zombies in as all the way. Oh, there's a mega zombie. Oh, that's actually really good. All right, now it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to spray all of these zombies down, man. Also, we're gonna probably pick up a lot of guns so that we can salvage them. Oh, hi, Cal. Perfect. There we go. You're already getting what we need. There's some shots going on over at Thread Grove, so I gotta be careful, man. 
Alright, so I think we cleared out all of the zombies. The only thing that's left is the mega. Alright, let's reload. We're putting so many ammo into it. Let's refill all of these so that we got ourselves a bunch of ammo. Another mag down. Bro, it's gonna take so long. Mecha zombies on escalation are quite strong, man. Alright, he should be dead soon. Yeah, he's dead. Alright. All right, let's see, there's so much loads. Obviously, I'm not gonna take, like, the most of the guns, to be honest. Let's take what we really need. Ammo, high cal. What did the mega zombie drop? It's probably like just part of these, this load. Cryogen, that's probably a mega zombie drop. There's a bunch of baffle kits. I don't really care about those though. Bunch of mags. And yeah, we could take a bunch of guns and salvage them because we get a lot of metal. So I'll just pick up as much guns as possible. Don't really need those backpacks. Alright, so we'll salvage. The compacts don't need that. ECS. And then we'll just stack them already. We got ourselves a box. Alright, not too bad. So now the important thing is obviously... The HMG components and the Valkyrie. We got ourselves Sabot Slug too. There we go. The two important things from this place are those. And now we could get out of here. We can do another dead zone run with the amount of that we have still in the filter. So pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Can't complain. Yeah, there's some shots going on. I want to counter that. I need to put loot quickly in though. We'll put the gas mask in Vault. I don't want to die with it or leave it in my base. Let's put everything in here and we'll go kill whoever is over. Uh, Red Grove. Oh, there's people there. Oh no! Friendly dude is dead. Alright, uh, he's dead. Why did he kill a friendly dude? Is it I would have killed him anyway, but. Oh, he had some stuff. Much ammo. He had night vision as well. What did the naked guy have? My guy had food. This is so sad. Now we're back from a pretty nice loot trunk. Got myself a, a bunch of guns, clothes. There's also the air painting as well. We love that. Let's salvage all of these, we don't need them. We've got plenty of clothes and armor. I'm also finally making a bunch of lockers. I can make more. So now we can actually have loot protected. If people do manage to go deep in my base or something. Let's salvage these, we don't need them. Obviously put the high tier loot in there. Like the Valkyrie, HMG ammo, high cal. High tier guns, like the Noct. Right. It's time to start raiding. Yeah, it's not raided at all, so... Let's hope we get something good out of it. Alright, here we go. First C4. We're through. And there's just an unclaimed bed. Alright, first base raid. Totally insane. Bro, what? It was... Okay, it was raided from the floor. Bro, I didn't even notice, man. Nah, oh, that sucks. Oops. Probably not gonna put that in the video. There's a dude in there. Wait, did I kill him? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, this guy is saying he's friendly. I can't... I've had so many experiences where they say they're friendly and they just blast me in the face. Oh, we gotta kill these zombies. Hold on. Where is bro? Oh, he's right here. Why hello there? You're not dead? I'm sorry, bro, but I have to kill you. I can't trust people. If bro had the opportunity to try to kill me, he would have taken it. Oh, wait, what? There's a guy in here. Alright, there we go. He's dead. We had some guns. Government with a scope, bunch of metal ingots. I'll take those. A bunch of guns, a bunch of ammo, clothes. Not bad. Wait, what? There's a dude there. Wait, is this a live base? Bro, die. My god, my aim there was horrific. Oh, there's loot over here. Oh, what? Oh, bro, somebody died here. We'll take all of this. Yeah, I do have C4 in my vault. I did craft a billion and we're gonna try to raid this base. I think it's live. Chop trees out here as well. Yeah, chainsaw, oaf bird, guns, stack of ingots. Right, let's hope this raid is better than the first one that we did. We gotta take C4 out of our vault though. Alright, let's get one. Here we go. Alright, one C4 should be plenty. Let's get far away. There we go, we're through. Bro, it's empty as well. What? Come on, man. What's wrong with these raids today? Can I get one raid with at least one item in it? The other one at least had an unclaimed bed. This one doesn't even have a bed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, there's a dude here. There we go. He is dead. Yeah, Ulfbert. Wait, no. I mean Tanto and the new gun. 
I don't even know how to pronounce it, to be honest. Tutomo Kovo? I, I don't know. I give up. All right, we're gonna do a raid, obviously. I still have more C4. to craft a bunch. And there's another base over here. It's also quite small, so we're gonna give that one a try. This is the raid that um, was already raided and I didn't... Eat. Wait, is it it? Oh, yeah, it's the one up there that we've already raided. We're gonna raid the one down here, though. We're gonna give this one a try. Let's take C4 out. We got... So let's take two out because I think it takes two. Just in case, we'll just put another one in vault. It's fine. Yep, we're not true. Let's do this one. And we are true. All right, I see crates. Good. Okay, yes, there is loot. A bunch of logs. Oh, yeah, there's actually quite a lot of loot. ECS, ammo, high cal, marksman mags, a lot of ammo. There's some nitro, so that's actually good. You know what? I'm gonna build behind. There we go. We got two walls. And if somebody raises this base, we're gonna read into an, um, an empty base. All right, yeah, there's more nitro over here. We got the nitro back. A lot of metal, a lot of ammo. All right, so I'm gonna drop everything. And take the important stuff. We've got chemicals as well. Glow. Canteens. If we salvage everything, we're gonna get some good loot from this. So I will not complain. Yeah, we got duct tape, so we can literally make adhesives from this. This is a pretty good raid. I like this one. We definitely profited. Considering that it's just a, a, a wooden base. Alright, we're gonna raid that base that we sound earlier. That's live. Here we go. Wait, what? Bro isn't even inside. Oh, there's loot though. Ingots. There's a large locker. We're gonna have to craft another C4 for that. Duct tape, plastic, amphibious clothes. Brute force, bunch of ammo, Uze, circuit boards. Yeah, we're gonna have to craft another C4. We'll come back. No problem at all. Bro is still on the server though, but he's not inside the base. Okay, we'll just mark it on the map so we'll know exactly where it is. So let's go craft a C4. We will come back and we will finish this raid. Hopefully there's something good. If he made an industrial locker, that means that he has to own a toolbox. So if we get a toolbox from that, that would be good because then we could craft the HMT. That's the only thing we need to craft an HMT. And to craft a toolbox, we need a blowtorch and we don't get one. Yeah, that's so close to our base, man. All right, we're back. One C4. Oh, it didn't break. We got another one, though. This is my last C4 broke and uh, okay guns blowtorch toolbox yep i knew it man i'll well, take the blowtorch because we can literally make another toolbox all right so i kind of have no clothes on me um i accidentally suicided and i forgot to wear them so i'm gonna home get the clothes and then i'll come back honestly there's nothing really that good though i'm really happy we got the toolbox though but because we, now we can make the hmg the hmt 250 Alright guys, that's where we're going to conclude this video. After that, the base pretty much survived all day. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!